The market capitalization of Adani group of companies has surged up to 20%, which is a surge of over 1 lakh crores. I also have with me Dr. Jaijit Bhattacharya. Jaijit, in terms of clear uh, market valuations of the Adani group of companies, the 10 of the stocks that have surged, uh, two of them exponentially, 20% of the surge that, that obviously is uh, in the headlines right now. And, and, and uh, the situation, the question I was every asking everybody, nine, it's taken nine months. Do you think uh, the balance of the uh, losses that the Adani group of companies has made is going to take perhaps uh, a few more months? And uh, was it also because of the reason that uh, India is a res resilient, resurgent economy? Had this happened in Europe, in UK or in Germany, uh, the climb up would have been uh, much slower, if at all it would have climbed up. Yeah, you know, uh, even in US when the, um, uh, the motor vehicle companies were doing badly after 2008, the government did step in and uh, they threw out the whole concept of laissez-faire and intervened into the market to save their automobile companies, which are fortunately all doing very well now. But they were, they were in the brink of collapse after 2008. So um, I think uh, Adani Enterprise clearly, as the market has demonstrated, has very deep value. Uh, and the question is not just about whether Adani uh, as a group will come back to where it was earlier, but how much did India as an economy lose out in the last nine months? Hmm. Now, will Adani come back or not is a factor of other things such as you know the war which has come up uh, there are other geopolitics that has evolved since then. So they will all have repercussions. And maybe Adani will become bigger than what it was earlier because there is an energy crisis. There are uh, commodity crises that's going on, which is where the companies such as uh, Adani Total Gas and Adani Green Energy were well positioned. And clearly their PE ratios were high because these were almost startups. So the revenues will be low, but the potential of the Indian market was extremely high, which is why they were valued so highly. And um, now we see that uh, these companies are rolling out uh, the, the solutions. Uh, Adani Green is very large in the green energy sector. Adani Total Gas will come back. There was, in fact, some issue with uh, Total uh, when this whole Hindenburg uh, report came up. So all those issues have to be now resolved. And uh, but, but the larger loser in this is uh, really the Indian economy, because uh, we need to have bigger ports, more ports, uh, we did have uh, you know, one of the largest, uh, uh, the Windsor Jam port coming up, but we need many more ports, much more green energy to fuel us, uh, to stop the climate change. Uh, and everything that Adani and other large enterprises in India really brings to the table. Now by, by nine months, uh, that has been a significant loss. So we lost out two years because of COVID, nine months because of uh, you know the hit on Adani, and God knows how many more hits will happen on the Indian economy okay. uh, through uh, the various enterprises. A quick question to you, Jai, uh, Dr. Jayajit Bhattacharya. The fact that, you know, the job that uh, political parties had in hand in spreading misinformation in the Adani group of companies and then in conjunction to Adani, also the government of India, uh, have they then been successful? in doing so, in sending out the message to the masses. Because today when we see that the MCAP for Adani group of company has researched to its, uh, to its original, to its original uh, levels of stocks, uh, will this trickle down to the masses, to the common man? Uh, and, and, uh, and, and the fact that just the term Adani is known by the 140 crore people in our country and abroad as well, uh, how many people will really get to know that there is a clean shit that is likely to be given by the Supreme Court and now, now the markets have worked in favor of Adani? So I'm not an expert in politics, but from a business perspective, uh, it does malign an entity. Um, you know, the citizens of this country are also, many of them are shareholders of Adani. They will only hear the first part of the story that um, some American organization has said that uh, Adani uh, has had some uh, challenges in how it managed funds. But it would not hear the second part of it that the Indian Supreme Court has said that those reports have got no basis and should be discarded uh, per se. Uh, and unfortunately, as uh, Gautam was mentioning, we do not have extraterritorial jurisdiction and therefore we cannot bring to book uh, what Hindenburg has done. 
uh, and those are challenges that we need to live with and therefore uh, coming to your question uh, people will be left with the view that adani enterprises and adani group of companies probably did something wrong because there is no uh, smoke without fire uh, and that really is an incorrect picture which is being pushed in right we have seen that happening umpteen number of times this happened with rafael this happened with you know many other issues which are important from national perspective but it was uh, indians only who were throwing uh, you know mud at these uh, achievements and i think it it is has a very negative repercussion